Gary Chambers, who is running against Senator John Kennedy for his seat in Congress, is making waves today after his latest ad shows him smoking marijuana. News 10's Shannon Hecht takes a look at the significance of the ad and Louisiana's relationship with marijuana in the legislature. Senate candidate Gary Chambers is making national headlines with his new ad. Pictured smoking a rolled blunt, he talks about the estimated 7.3 million people who have been arrested for possession of marijuana since 2010, according to the ACLU. Chambers is a candidate that comes with name recognition already, and this move highlights the country's and the state's relationship with marijuana. Currently, medical marijuana is legal in Louisiana, but recreational use is still illegal. I think a big part of this in the next couple of years is going to be just having really honest conversations about a disproportionate impact on various communities that the current system has. Statistics collected in March of 2021 by JMC Analytics shows that 67 percent of the 1,100 Louisianians polled are in favor of decriminalizing and legalizing weed. Looking at making sure that we can reduce, if not eliminate, uh, incarceration as a potential punishment in many cases. Louisiana Progress is working on a number of ideas to bring marijuana legislation back to the 2022 session. Last year, the Sheriff's Association played a big role in stopping a bill that would have led to legalization, saying it's still a Schedule I drug federally. Um, there does seem to be a broad openness to further decriminalization. The Louisiana GOP and Senator John Kennedy did not immediately reply for comment on Chambers' ad. For your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.